Hello everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles Mystery Box Action Figure Search 41. I want to do a quick update. You saw these in the last video. Um, might have been two videos ago. Uh, these Spider-Man toys, these Spider-Man 2, I didn't realize it at the time. These silly things here, bringing about 200 bucks a piece. 200 a piece, which really shocked me. And look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got one over on the computer there. Another side of my little heater. Seven, and I've sold one. So about $1,400 worth of Spider-Man toys. I had no idea when I opened that box. So it's pretty, pretty ignorant. I've had other Spider-Man toys out of uh, this series. And these, you know, they're 15 to 25 bucks, most of them. The Cyber Spider... Uh, suit is 75. I did have one of those and it, it sold. Uh, but I had no idea these Spider-Man 2 figures were worth a small fortune. I uh, did some more research on the uh, Superhuman Samurais. The, um, the large size 9 inch lets right here. Uh, they're bringing 60 to 70. Smaller ones 25 to 35. Uh, so did did a little updating there. And that's, that's probably about it. Oh, the, uh, the Robin Hood figures. I've sold most of the toys. Uh, they're about 20 bucks for like that toy there. Uh, figures are going for 10 to 15. I uh, sold some overseas. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. I have a lot of them. Anyway, back to the box search. And here we go. Oops, let's not open it right there. Let me get it on the table first. See if there's any. No, I'm not seeing any writing on this one. Is it? Nope. Nope. No writing on that one at all. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we got here in this one. Not a particularly heavy box. Oh, sure, now it won't come off at all. There it goes. Good heavens. Oh, that looks really cool. Von Helsing. I do have a Hugh Jackman in that. That nah, card's mangled on those. Let's see what else is in here. Twin size air bed, twin size air bed. Oh, Muppet Series 6, $1.79. Boy, that'd be a buy if those are in here. And McFarlane. Sports something for four bucks. Oh, more Muppets Series 6. Wavy Pumpkin, 74 cents. Uh, this was back on uh, 2004, November 2004, Shopco in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Let's see what we got. I would not be disappointed if there was Muppets. Boy, that really got... That really got mashed. I like that figure. It was a fun movie. Was not the greatest movie ever, but it was a lot of fun. Wishing they'd have followed that up with something. Nice looking figures. I do see some Muppets, but let me see if I can get this. Boy, those are, those are really tight. Oh, that's another, that's a different Frankenstein. $7.98 in Toys R Us on that one. Which one's this? Oh, there's Dracula. Looks like I gotta do some sticker removal there. And here's the Muppets. Clifford. Palisades. Let me see what yours this is. Oh boy, that, that is tiny writing for an old guy there. Uh, 2003. 2003 on that. So we got Clifford. And another Clifford. And another Clifford. I'm getting the feeling Clifford was not the first action figure people were looking for. Oh, and Fozzie. Okay, but you know, for a buck seventy-nine, I've never seen those. Those are very high quality. I would have to think they're going to be worth a little bit. So let me get these packed away, and we'll get on to box number two here. Okay, here's box number two. It's really heavy. I thought it was die cast. But it sounds like it's plastic gravel. So, I don't know. Nothing's on the box. Let's see what we got. Elko. Boy, there's a 
department store I haven't heard of forever. Gosh, are they all pegged? Oh my goodness, what is this? Holy cow! Clear mailbox candy. Let's see if I can get that out. That must be a whole display. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Two for 88 cents, and they were on sale for 44. Oh, I see, must be a. Well, no, that's probably not. Well, yeah, it must be a Valentine's Day mailbox candy thing. Kind of interesting. I don't know if it's particularly valuable. Those gotta be all Pez too. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're newer. Whoops. I do like Pez. I remember them as a kid and they had the had the feet on them. You'd stand them up sometimes and boy they had some interesting stuff. That must be the candy or is that figures? I don't know, I'll get to that in a second here. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Golly, Santa Claus. More witches. That, uh, I think that's the glow in the dark skull there. So that must be a, just a candy thing. I'll have to look that up. There's a Jumpin' Jammers. There's another one. Uh, is that a Star Wars? I think that's a Boba Fett. Yeah, looks like Boba. Oh, there's a... Huh. It's supposed to be candy, but I don't hear anything rattling in there. Well, there we go, some more Star Wars Pez. Yeah, there's Leia. These aren't old. Probably if I'm going to sell them... Oh, shoot, that one, that one broke apart. Uh, if I'm going to sell them, Jumping Jammers, I'm probably going to have to sell them as a group. I'll group these up. And I have good luck selling these um, Ewoks. It's just, you know, they're not worth a lot, generally speaking, on these newer ones, unless it's a really weird... Oh, that one's got candy in it. That one's empty. Um... I sell them, I, oh, that one's empty too. Somebody ate those and put those back. Some, what happened, I bet. Uh, here's the receipt. Uh, so I do like Pez. I just throw them out in a box at shows and flea markets. Put like a buck a piece on the common ones. Um, Star Wars ones, though, I might do a little different. Oh, here we go. This is from 99. Sliced turkey, sliced beef, Pez, 99 cents a piece. Well, that is 50 cents. Well, that's, that's kind of gone up in the day, hasn't it? Um, from Sioux City, Iowa. So, I don't know. It'll be fun. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun looking through them. These look like these are all Star Wars themed. Oh, there's another one that broke off the, the bubble. And that's, unfortunately, just from being packed this way and age. Um, I don't think it's really going to affect it a whole lot because none of those cards were meant anyway. So anyway, I will get this uh, back together here and we'll get on to box number three. It was kind of a fun box. And this is box number three. And yes, it's not in a box because my file was corrupted, so I apologize. Uh, but this is everything that was in box three. I already had everything sorted and uh, kind of laid out from uh, this video and the video after, number 42. This is 41. Um, so I'm going back. I got everything here on my uh, handy-dandy cart that is really handy. And um, here's, what it, here's what it is. You really didn't miss a lot other than a bunch of my snarky comments on starting lineup figures. If you are a hockey fan, though, got some stars here. Super Mario and Yarmir Yager, Brett Hull, Pat LaFontaine. Here we got for basketball, got a Dennis Rodman with the Spurs. There's an Iserman for the Red Wings. Jim Jackson there for the Mavs. Sean Camp for the Sonics. Another Rodman. A uh, couple of 
Aladdin figures, genie figures. Uh, I don't know. Those should be worth a little something. I would, I would have to think. And I've got got two of those. Uh, the uh, the fun parts. Well, I thought it was the fun part. I got a crash test dummies Hot Wheels. Uh, I'd never seen one of those before, and it must be a second series one because I believe it was 2000. Yeah, 2003. Uh, the other ones are uh, late 80s. Uh, Bart Simpson Silly Putty, which is really, really kind of cool and awesome. Uh, and again, let's see if I can find a year on that one. I believe it's about the same, 2003. Um, I like that. Oh, that's a mini comic or a magnet or a. Oh, it's kind of a book. And this is probably the uh, the most saleable stuff. Not super high valuable. Not like those other Spider Man. Uh, but this is the animated series of uh, action figures from Toy Biz, and a really nice, nice series. These have good cards on them. Some of the ones I had a couple months ago were really beat up on the cards, but these are very clean. 1994. Got a couple of, I think it was, they're both web racers. No, web shooter. Web racer. Lizard with lashing tail. And this is my favorite, was the alien one. Kind of a, you know, the ripped off alien, ripped off predator. I, I don't know what else they ripped off in there, but it was a neat figure. Um, and that was it. So that's box number three. So again, sorry about having to reshoot all this. It's not uh, not typical, not what we usually do, but it worked out okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.